on Australia's Business Channel. This is First Business. Hello to you, I'm Carson Scott. And I'm Bridie Barry. Thanks for joining us on First Business. Very warm welcome too to viewers watching here on Sky News. Let's head straight to the numbers for a look at uh, where we stand on the overseas markets. Absolutely. Stateside, it was a very uh, negative session, wasn't it? There you see at the Dow taking a big, big dip. That was indeed the, the fact that it went below the 13,000 mark. That's its worst three-day performance, Bridie, since 1904. And the Nasdaq off by 3.7%. So uh, a horror night also for that index on Friday. Checking Europe, and it was a pretty grim picture there too, wasn't it? Bags, a big drag on the FTSE 100 indeed. All of Europe's 16 major benchmark indices basin, as you see, they're stuck in negative territory. Let's see where the Nikkei 225 finished on Friday. It was a shortened session and it tumbled 4%. Yeah. Lowest Hulk. since uh, July 2006, I think. The Hang Seng, though, up by 2 and a third percent. Good days for PetroChina. Rising oil price seeing its stock surging 7%. Let's have a look at where we wrapped up last week and we were up around a quarter of a percent. Futures, the though, are tipping a bit of a dip at the open in just a few hours' time. We're looking about a 2.2% uh, bit of droppage off. U.S. stocks, as we just...